Aubrey first noticed Jared's intellect. He was in AP classes his sophomore year, and she noticed his reserved nature. As for Jared, he first noticed Aubrey's questionable driving. <laughs> no, really. It was the first thing he told his parents about Aubrey, that she was a bad driver. <laughs> Aubrey tells me Jared thinks that her driving has since improved, but I haven't had a chance to confirm that with Jared. <laughs> Although they met early on in high school, things didn't turn romantic until their senior year. Jared and Aubrey first went on a date when Aubrey asked Jared to the Sadie Hawkins dance their senior year. In this instance, Aubrey's poor driving worked to her advantage. <laughs> She'd recently been in a fender bender of sorts to which Jared had been a witness, so the two of them had been texting. This gave Aubrey the opening to ask him to the dance. Then, as fate would have it, the world was struck by COVID, and the two were rarely able to see each other for nearly a month. But they were both in Eugene that first year after they graduated, Jared taking a gap year and Aubrey doing classes remotely with the Northern Arizona University. This gave them more time to see each other and for their relationship to grow. Their relationship grew from dating to en fianced in Arkansas while Jared was in school there, thus proving it doesn't matter where you ask the question as long as you're asking the right person. <laughs> Aubrey and Jared have had quite the adventure for such a young couple. They survived high school, COVID, living in Arkansas, long distance, and of course, Aubrey's poor driving. When I asked them what they admired most in each other, Aubrey said she admires Jared's intelligence and his supportiveness. Jared shared that he admires Aubrey's big heart and her sense of humor. It seems to me that combined, the two of you have the smarts to get it done, the support to do it together, the heart for when things get hard, and the sense of humor to laugh along the way. Sounds like an ideal team to me. Aubrey and Jared have a very sweet, very chill dog, Pratchett. Their family will soon expand. Aubrey told me they want four kids, exactly four. <laughs> Why four? Because, as I was told, you don't want an only child. If you have two kids, what if they don't like each other? I'm sure Aubrey was not speaking from personal experience. <laughs> And with three, you run the risk of an odd one out. It's all very logical. And I know I speak for everyone here when I say how excited we are to watch the two of you build a life and a family together. Today, Aubrey and Jared pledge to continue their adventure together, bonded by laughter, dreams, and an unbreakable love. Aubrey, Jared, you've known each other from that first glance at Marist to this moment here at Jasper House Farm. At some point along the way, in Arkansas, you decided to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, you've been making commitments in an informal way. All those conversations that began with when we're married and continued with I will, you will, we will, all those late night talks that included someday and somehow and maybe, all those promises that are unspoken matters of the heart, all those common things are the real process of a wedding. The vows you're about to make are a way of saying to each other, hey, remember all those things that we promised and hoped and dreamed? Well, I meant them, all of them, every word. Look at each other and remember this moment. Before this moment, you've been many things to each other, acquaintances, friends, boyfriend, girlfriend, adventure partners, hiking buddies, battleship foes, golfing <laughs> pros, and even teachers, for you have learned much from each other along the way. In a minute, you say the words that take you across a threshold, and things will never be quite the same. In a minute, for the first time, and then every time thereafter, you'll say these, world, these words to these people and the world. This is my husband. This is my wife. Now let's dive into the heart of it. Gabrielle, the rings. Thank you. Jared, take this ring. And this one. Got it. Repeat after me. Aubrey. Aubrey. I promise to love you without reservation. I promise to love you without reservation. Comfort you in times of distress. Comfort you in times of distress. Encourage you to achieve all of your goals. Encourage you to achieve all your goals. Laugh with you and cry with you. Laugh with you and cry with you. Grow with you in mind and spirit. Grow with you in mind and spirit. Always be open and honest with you. Always be open and honest with you. And cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And cherish you for as long as we both shall live. Jared, do you take Aubrey to be your wife? I do. Please place the ring on Aubrey's left finger. There you go. 
There we go. <laughs> Aubrey, take this ring and repeat after me. Jared. Jared. I promise to love you without reservation. I promise to love you without reservation. Comfort you in times of distress. Comfort you in times of distress. Encourage you to achieve all of your goals. Encourage you to achieve all your goals. Laugh with you and cry with you. Laugh in you and cry laugh with you and cry with you. Grow with you in mind and spirit. Grow with you in mind and spirit. Always be open and honest with you. Always be open and honest with you. And cherish you for as long as we both shall live. And cherish you for as both for as long as we both shall live. Aubrey, do you take Jared to be your husband? Yes. Please place the ring on Jared's left finger. Families aren't just the ones we're born into. They're also the ones that we make with the people we choose. It's said that the right person isn't someone who makes life perfect, but someone who makes all the imperfections worthwhile. As you start this new chapter of your story together, May you always remember that your choice, made together and in love, will guide you through every moment, big and small. And now, Jared and Aubrey, with the power vested in me by the great state of Oregon and the internet, it is my honor and my privilege to pronounce you married. Jared, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> 